Okay, so Mount Rainier, a day of training and also um, the wildflowers are out, huh? They're amazing. Marianne here, first time doing some mountaineering. We uh, were here with Peter Whitaker and the uh, RMI crew. Uh, mountaineering school, day one. We hiked up to a snow field up here and then uh, did some basic uh, mountaineering skills. Marianne, what, uh, what stood out to you? Well, uh, we worked on the self-arrest, which I know I was pretty nervous about. You kind of hear about it, but I've never done it. But it was actually, by the end, it was pretty fun to kind of slide around and stop yourself. And be in control. Be in control. Have like, full control. Yeah, it was great. Um, and then our team, we got to try that roped up, which was kind of confusing at first. But then, it's, you know, then you again feel in control and like you're ready to you know, stop yourself on the mountain, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, and getting on the rope, so some rope work, you know, having the ropes tied to us and working as a team and, and moving as a team and, and pacing it just right is a, is a big part of just getting some experience. So when we get on a big whitey up there, we're, uh, we're feeling safe and we're feeling good. Other, other aspects was a uh, fixed line. Yep, fixed line. Did that some work exciting. on the fixed line. And crampons. Uh, crampons, we learned about how to move around in crampons. Got the spikes around. on our feet and how to keep the pointy edges down. Yep. That's pretty key. And uh, there was that uh, belay thing, fixed belay. Fixed belay across the cool, anchor. Just so it can be super safe when it gets a little dicey if needed. That's right. So uh, we're prepared, prepared for, uh, for many a condition and then uh, totally outfitted with the, uh, the first ascent kit from Eddie Bauer for backpacks, sleeping bags, layers puffy. of all sorts. Down parka. Oh man, huge puffy case that it gets really nasty up there. Yep. So, so uh, I think we're ready. Are you, are you psyched? Yeah, I'm totally psyched. So here we go, Mount Rainier. Oh, Tomorrow, <laughs> we're on the mountain. That one. <laughs> okay, so Camp Muir. We're here with uh, Peter Whitaker, whose uh, family is steeped in mountaineering. Uh, for those of you that don't know, his uncle Jim was the first American to climb Everest in 1963. That's right. And your father Lou, uh, hit Jim's twin brother, uh, equally as accomplished in mountaineering, and uh, got to climb with him in '96. So that cool. was kind of fun for a climb for clean air with Mountain Zone days. Good, good. So uh, we're here at Camp Muir, 10,000 feet or so. Yep. And uh, what are you seeing? How are you liking what, what you're seeing on the team? Things are looking good. Our team looks tight. Um, we came up today in about five hours, which is pretty much par for the course. 4,500 vertical feet. We took a few leisurely breaks. You could see I was kicking back and going easy on people. But no, I mean, everybody came up here together in good shape, hit the ridge, um, and we're looking sharp for tomorrow. Yeah, people are feeling real good. It's, the sun's about to dip behind the ridge here. It's what, not even six o'clock and yeah. it's bedtime. It is. I can I see in your goggles. Mountain climbing. I'm still letting the sunscreen soak in. We're trying to, sun is a, a big hazard up here if you're not yep. treating yourself right. So uh, a lot of sunscreen. But uh, yeah, we did a little mountain house dinner and um, time for bed, getting up at mm, I'm not sure. 11. Yeah, it'll be dark for sure. Oh, dark. Um, no, we get up so we can get on the upper mountain, get up and get back down before things loosen up. The rock fall, ice fall snow bridges. Um, we want to be up there when they're frozen solid. And that's climbing in the dark an awful lot. We'll be probably four hours of total darkness where your world gets reduced to just this little beam of light. A little in front pool of, you. of light, yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, the route's in good shape. We have a couple ladders up there, a couple little exciting pieces that uh, oh, we're all so ready long. for. And yeah, based on how the group did, I mean, we should rock it. Yeah, we're feeling really good. So on the mountain, oh, dark 30 tomorrow morning. Heading up. Heading Thanks, up Peter. to ring the Ooh. bell. All right, gang, so 13.4, thousand feet from the true summit, 800 from the crater rim, high break. Got a nice early start, some breakfast down there at Camp Muir, some hot oats, and uh, then got on the trail, the icy, dark, cold trail. Had a few uh, ladder crossings, a few places to uh, Cross some big crevasses, some big steps over that, and then a um, whole series of switchbacks. And then we've got the really cool feature, they're small here, sun cups eventually develop into uh, these snow pinnacles, and uh, 
That was kind of an eerie lunar environment to cruise over, so. But we're going up, we've got just a little bit of the sun showing up on the horizon there, a little sherbet on the horizon, and uh, heading for the Columbia Crest the Summit, next stop. Feeling good, staying warm. All right, kids, well, welcome to the summit of Mount Rainier. Rachel, first time. First time. How's it feel? How are you feeling? Feeling good, tired, yeah. but accomplished. Indeed, and yeah. that is a good way to put it. It was, uh, it was a good slog. We uh, kind of got a rare treat taking the south rim around instead yeah. of slogging it through the, uh, the middle of the crater, though. We'll have that going back, I think. Yeah, pretty good. The sunrise uh, right there, and you got your puffy on. How you liking that? Oh my god, I just want to live in it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the peak 15 for women, right? I believe so. Uh, yeah. 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 And then this is the peak 15 for men. And uh, I thought maybe it would be a little much for up here. Yeah. But it's it's exactly perfect. It's perfect, and and we have warm conditions. To boot and yeah this is still necessary and this is still very nice to have it makes it very comfortable it's sort of oddly still up here the no wind we are getting a pretty choice time yeah. on the summit here and um but we're only halfway i know now that now the down part but that you just said it, but the great thing is it's all downhill from here so yes oh we're gonna snack up a little bit get some uh water have a little rest like we're doing here, mm -hmm. and uh, head back down the mountain. Can you take three pictures up here? There you go. Sure. Thanks for it, guys.